Okay. I don't know if anyone's on here because of the mess up, but I think I have it figured out. Gonna see. This is okay. Who's on here? My camera looks like it's working. Sorry, so sorry. I don't, I don't know how to use this. So I'm gonna close out of that. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, Angela, and I'm the worst at it. You guys know this. And I got it packed down using my phone, but now that I'm using a different system, now I have to learn this. And if I wanna have guests on, then I have to learn it. Okay. But can you guys hear me? trying to find Sandra can you hear me okay. okay good okay yes okay where were we at <laughs> that was so frustrating I'm so sorry So there's there's just, yeah, just, there. Well, I just with me until <laughs> I research it and figure it out. I think it was a Bluetooth issue. So right now what I'm doing to fix that problem is I have my mic, my Yeti mic connected to the live. And now I have my Bluetooth in so I can hear Sandra, if that makes sense. So I'm actually watching my live so I can hear her. So there's a little bit of lag but it's the only way I'm gonna be able to make it work for today. And yes, guys, I changed my shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Melanie, for joining. Uh, you Hopefully you weren't on the last I don't know how many five different lives that I just added. So, but now we're going to get to work because that took like an hour. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Morning guys. Okay. So let me get my carrots. If you Not guys want to ask either one of us questions, highlight your name, try to answer any questions you have. I did hear that we were supposed to be able to use your AirPods to be able to hear back and forth. Where my carrots? Am I out? Are you there, Sandra? 
so that you guys can see better. Um, my granddaughter, you can hear her little voice. The camera near, I cannot see what you're working on. Yes, I'm about to do that right now. Sorry about that, Wendy. Is that better? Yes, we're back. Sorry, sorry, Laura. Sorry, everyone. That was, I was so stressed out that I was like, um, I don't even know if I wanna do this because I don't know how to make it work. But I figured out a way, there's a huge lag in my ear, but it's okay. watching my own live back on my phone so I can hear Sandra. Um, so I'm watching the comments, but highlight my name because this is the only way I can see if you guys have any questions for me. So. really hard to do by myself. I usually have my husband help me or my brother was here. He would help me because I order a lot of dirtish, so it's hard. You guys, how's the audio and video on your end? I'm just afraid it's not great because of everything that just happened. I think the audio sounds fine. I like to get this as precise as I can. 
So it's nice and even when I cut it. I like to tape just the border to my bolt because it helps it keep it like nice and even. It doesn't get all like bubbly and stuff when I go to wrap it. So usually if I don't tape it and I went to go wrap it, it would bubble up right here and it would just be really hard to like lay nicely. So I just tape a little bit. Oh, 
Feel free to talk, Sandra. I feel like I'm just talking. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, you're fine. Sandra's uh, Etsy site. Uh, Sandy, uh, can you link that? Okay, Liz, sorry. Wait, what did you say? I am just putting my snaps. So I do the top ones. I do all my male snaps first, and then I do my female Thank snaps. Thank you. Is this lag thing um, messing you up, Sandra? <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Yeah, a little bit. Out for next time. My trash is done. Yeah. Okay. Now, now that I have my female or my male snaps are on, now I'm going to do my female snaps. Instead of having to take off the attachment every time. I got so sidetracked by not being able to hear Sandra on my last slide that I forgot to do this part. So make sure, I know a lot of you guys have sewn this and you know how to do cuffs and waistbands, but there are some people that don't know how to do it. And I've been getting a lot of emails about how to do it. So make sure you're cutting your cuffs. You do not need to cut on the fold. I cut it, you know, on the fold, but I cut the fold off because I like to cut two at a time. Make sure you're doing it on the stretch because if you don't, then they're not going to stretch right in your legging. And 
Same with the waistband. Where did you get your romper pattern from? I make my own romper patterns, but ask Sandra, because she got hers off of Etsy, I believe. My romper is um, made by, or I think it's called Made By Me. Let me look real quick. Yeah, it's uh, made by me patterns. patterns away when they're done so I don't confuse myself. Right out. Or I'll just print it again. My pen is acting for me. Hmm. I wonder why you had bad luck with them. What happened? Try Facebook. A lot of Facebook groups have like different patterns and stuff on there that you can try. Leggings, their bummies, and their rockers. Oh, so you can cook? Yeah, I'm cooking right now. Okay, can you make me? Can you make me a muffin? Um, this we we have a muffin. 
Yeah. I made these little, uh... We're out of muffins. Oh, you're out of muffins? Yeah. Okay. Can, I, can I have a hamburger, maybe? Yep, yeah, we have hamburgers. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, um, I made the the pattern for the little um, aprons. How many orders do you have to work on today, Amber? Oh, I pulled six of them to cut to start. I don't like to have two, I don't like to have more than usually five on my table at a time. This doesn't overwhelm me. You have five to do today? Yeah. And then I have to have, um, and then I have a, two sets of um, mug marks to do. And also some trach pads and some uh, G2 pads. From my neighbor across the street. We have two of those. We have two of those. Fun. Wow. We have two of those. Good job. Potato. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the burger. Here's the burger. Do you want me to get your stuff? Yeah, I need to get my burger. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I haven't looked at the comments yet on that last video. Maybe you cut both of the same backing instead of a front and a back. Maybe you cut two backs or two fronts. Oh, 
Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I saw that comment. Um, let me go back and look so I can I can try to answer it. Just because um, I think you have the same proper that I do. you sometimes is there like is the back and the front is one like longer than the other so of course I just need or one just or a leg just one full leg I just to do. Do for this one piece that I need. I'm actually going to be sewing up my romper right now so I can show you how I sew it up. Okay, so... Okay, so remember my last slide, I had to match up my liners to the front and back pieces, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Just to make sure, because my brother cut pieces off of the template, so i got to make sure they line up.
This one I know is bigger. The liner is bigger. Um, did I just... No. This is what stickers and then I have my Cricut write the, the um, size on there and I just put it on there. Next. I have a video on it. Okay, I'm coming to the can or the computer so I can see what you guys are talking about. Okay, I think I'm all caught up. Thank you, Sandy. because I have to do the stabilizer. So I line them up over here. Um, Cynthia, it's actually in the description box below. It is from uh, Sewing Machines Plus. So you're talking about this thread for my surging machines and my, my sewing machines, or are you talking about the thread for my embroidery machines? But they should all be listed below.
bottom one. I just smashed the thing about it. I try to use up all my like this extra fabric, we... my straps, before I cut into anything. Instructions. I like to use the small ones. Yeah, it's out, just like, for and all that stuff. That's what you call it. Rotary cutter. I like to use this one for my dummies. There's a little groove. Thank you. 
lurkers that say love it, snap it, leave a review. And then they're more likely to leave your review on there. I have to make the pattern for that one, so I'm going to set that aside and I'll do that one later. This lag has really got me kind of... Weird, like dizzy. we work yeah. together yeah. and we decide to talk to each other we talk to each other but we have each other on camera thank you guys I just have to wait for the polymers. 
Tapi sih yang bisa For my heat press to heat up, so I can put mm -hmm. the uh, poly mesh on the straps. Okay. She loves going to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joanne. She loves she loves talking about babies. So they will give her attention. I try to not watch the news just because I don't want to hear sad stuff. This whole work thing is crazy. Do you guys want me to change my camera? <laughs>
I'm just putting poly mesh on the arms. Help stabilize where the snaps are so the fabric doesn't rip. I didn't realize that you can get in trouble for that. I can actually move my camera this way too. Really? You can get in trouble for that? legging, which is pretty large. From here, do you want to watch, um, like, Fancy Nancy, or do you want to watch I want to watch I want to watch I can't believe she's going to be almost, well, she's almost going to be three. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. I get you. This is my last grandchild, I think, for a while. No, trust me, I'm not going to forget I'm live because of what happened earlier. I'm still kind of like my heart's beating because of it. It made me very, like, anxious because that's never happened before, like that. And I didn't know why it was happening or what it was doing. Go over there. So I got to figure out what I want to. Oh, you want you want that song? I want it. It's not there. Yeah. 
you guys are wondering why I cut these off, these are for my nursing pads. I save all of my little straps that are like this big. I cut them and if they don't, if they're not more than four and a half inches, I toss them. This one's only four inches, so it wouldn't make the cut. So that's all I know. I used the most of my fabric. And this is how I rig my patterns, you guys, because this is made with that um, magazine file uh, folder things. I don't know. They're really thick, like cardboard or I don't know what it's called. But anyway, I tape them together. So you can see this was a big pattern. So I just tape them together, and that's how I get my pattern. tantrums in here, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't. Nana might start crying and then it'll be my turn to cry. But you're not making a word. But you're not making a word. You're not making a word. No. You don't, yeah? No, I don't, yeah. You don't, yeah. I have to clean up as I go, or I get really like frustrated. Oh, for your Here, can't work in it. Okay, here, let me see. Can I? I need to charge it. No, it's not dead or anything. Okay. I know. I actually wanted to start doing some sort of patchwork, but I don't. I need to find the time for that. So. Thank you. I thought it would be fun. Oh, <laughs> 
We can all do it together. I can actually add more of you guys on here. I can add up to 10 people, I think. Does someone else want to come in on this? <laughs> I'm going to meet myself. Crazy on the first day. Usually my lives are super bright, but with this camera setting, it looks so dark in here. Is that bothersome?
on my lovies, I literally just made it up. So blankets, that's a good thing about blankets is you do not, there's no specific size. Like just make them whatever you like. So what I did when I first made this was I just figured out a small dimension that I liked that was semi-rectangle and I went with it. And then I added just a little tag thing right here. So you can do it however size you want. I'm going to start with this because it looks super easy. Uh, what does it look super easy? I know it's super easy. I'm going to move my camera so you guys can see me. These are the cozies, or how do you say that? Coffee cozy, cup cozy, mug cozy, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what Sarah calls them. Sarah, if you're in here, you can put it, put your link, put your link to your Etsy in this group chat. These are what she makes, and they're so cute. This is for the venti, because that's all I get. I don't, I, I go big on coffee. So look at how cute this is. She does different colors and stuff. This is my favorite one, I think. And it does not... Condensation does not go through this at all. So love it, love it. All right, I'm going to see how I can, without messing anything up, I'm just going to zoom my camera over here somehow. You know what I wonder? Let me try something really quick. You guys are like, oh no, don't try anything. It might mess up. I'm going to move my other camera over here on the other side. So, Let's see how I can do this first. Hmm. 
I can't unhook it because then it'll all come apart. So what I can do though is go like this. Hi, how are you from Scotland? That's so far away. Thanks for joining. Sorry about all that noise. I'm trying to get you guys a good angle. Okay, you guys can hear me now, but um, if you're still in here, I don't, I can't see the chat. So let me pull up the chat really quick. Um, Bye, Mary. Thank you for joining. Bye, Mary. Um, well, okay, so I can't go back to the person that was asking me about the rompers. Um, so you have your cuff with it facing, you have your folded edge right here, and then your raw edges on top, your fabric goes the way you want it to go. So I have both of them, and then I serge my ends on both. Um, and then so how I do it, I don't pin because I've been doing so many of these that I don't need to, but I align the corners so I get my corner in. And then I lift it, I press it in there. And then what I do is I grab my, and I adjust to my corner is there. I slowly find my, I align them. And then if it starts to kind of seep away from being together, you just kind of put it together and just. And then I leave a little bit of a gap from my needle 
don't know if you can see that. But I leave a little bit of a gap. And then I stretch out just a bit. And I rotate. And then I kind of slide it back under. I align my fabrics. And then I throw a little, don't pull too hard because they'll break your threads, but and then I, I grab these ones. And then I make sure that my fabric is aligned. So I, I bump it up a little bit, overlapping the cutter, but I don't turn on my cutter. My cutter is not on. So how you see how you have your curve right here, if you just kind of straighten out your curve, don't pull too much, but you, you align your curve, just go straight. Make sure you don't have any pleats. Make sure that you're Lines up your My reverse sheet. And then you do the same thing for this on that curve. Oh, yeah. You just kind of straighten it yeah. out. What? Okay, here, let me see. What happened? I want, want, want to get itchy and then, and then I take it off. It could, and then, and then, and then I there take out go. my cat. Okay. that all your edges are aligned and together. So I kind of straighten out as I go. sew one of these up in a good 15-20 minutes.
so then on here, I'm sure you guys have seen Amber do this a million times. <laughs> but you grab both of your liner pieces, just like that. Your pretty sides are touching. Just align it really good. And then you want to align your seams on the edging. I flip mine. I can for personal preference, but I flip mine both down. So. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm getting full. I'm getting full on Okay. So I go a little bit. And then what I do is I flip from underneath. So it's flipped going towards that way on the bottom. And then I flip this one the same exact way. Make sure there's no pleats underneath. Kind of align it. So then I slowly guide it under there where it catches and then now on this, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you attach your legs, I always, you want to align the bottoms of your legs together, just like that. Hold them like this as you're sewing it and guide it in because if not, you will always have one of these shorter than the other. So if that's what you were asking about, so I don't pull very hard. Um, I just align the edges of the middle, but I'm, con I'm always holding at the bottom. start getting to the top you just keep holding that edge and then your favorite your legs will be I mean it kind of doesn't look like it but your legs will be centered down where one's not longer than the other Centered down. That's, I don't, that sounds not right. <laughs> Sometimes I think about what I see. Okay. So you do the same thing for the other. Flip it going down. And okay. now once you already go over that little hump, you just grab from the bottom, align your corners at the bottom of the leg, and gently. a really big romper that I'm doing it on as well. This is a two to three. So it's massive.
to talk while she's talking because of the lag. So I'm just listening to her instructions on her. All right, so. for the crotch so you're not uneven. I also hold on the other side of the crotch with the other leg. And then you kind of know where your middle is for your crotch. So I always kind of hold there. Here. Yes. Okay, so now that you kind of get where your middle is for your crotch, then you just, you can go straight. Just straighten it out. Keep going. Come on, let's be quiet. Is this So it looks like this. Baby, I can't. You can see I'm the so handle right here. here. And then it goes to the back. Is this like the one you have? And then it just plugs in down there. Okay. So then for the see it kind of looks like one is um like longer than the other, but it's not gonna matter as long as your edges are the same. That's just knit fabric, how knit works, but Three corners. And then I do my seam to the inside of your crotch. I align the seam together. And then I align the other seam with the other. And then I would look, so this one is going that way, so I want this one to go that way as well. So you don't have a twisted crotch. Could be uncomfortable for the kid that's wearing it. Sorry, this is gonna get loud. Sure that all my edges are okay done sorry aligned together and then I just like that and then I slowly guide it right before it hits the um, the needle and then once the very far edge needle catches. I pick up my presser foot as right after it catches, and then I align it where I want it. So then you don't have overlap for the thread. So go over your seams really slow to make sure that you don't break a needle. Don't pull on your 
puff and your waist or the the legs so you go and stretch it out too much. Yes, my love. So I barely overlap it, and as soon as I overlap it, I pick up my presser foot. Yes, my love. Okay. So I make sure that my needles are up. I push it away, all the way, and then you start sewing. So what happens is it's it's like kind of all aligned. So then when you go to hide it, you won't see where it starts or ends. Yeah. I wanna touch it. See it's pony. So I do the same thing for this one. Just light it, guide it under there. I catch it, and then I straighten Look it Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See? Look at this. 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 Look. Oh, yeah. You can play with that. Don't stick that in your mouth. You can play with that. Just don't put it in your mouth. Cut off the tail. And then on your on your um, serger. There's a little, there's a circle, and then you have like a little line that pops up. That's where you align it to your very first needle. And then pull it away. So then it's straight. So I hide my threads in between the in between the fabrics so then you can't see it on either side. So you pull through and then I do the same for the other foot and the lining. And that, so that has, is how I do it. It's pretty much the same process that Amber does as well. Let me know if that link works for you. That I did not know before. I'm very grateful for. <laughs> Let me see what time it is. Siggy, what time? Oh, no, all right. It's 3.15 p.m. Okay. I need to take my granddaughter here soon to at 3.30 um, to her swim classes.
have to get off, Sandra? Let me move this With over. Not yet. I will in like 15 minutes. Actually, a little bit less than that. So, I, here, let's see if you guys can see. Ooh, I'm going to move you. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. And then that you guys can't see that, but. So. I fold mine. I mean, this is how I do it. Okay. So you have your short little arms on that side and then my long arms. So this is the back of your fabric when if they're longer. So what I do is I can see my longer ones. So right here in your seams, I fold, so if I'm looking at it like this, my seam that's on to, that's to my right as I'm looking at it, I fold that down. So I'll show you. So it looks like this. Um, so it looks like this. So like your little like seam part is to the front going towards this okay that's so I will sew that down and I will show you why I do it that way because when you flip it inside out it folds to the inside instead of out like where it kind of shows it looks more seamless I think on the armpit part do the same thing. I just barely put that up to that side and then down. And I don't sew over the very edge on the armpit hole. So right here, I don't sew all the way off. I like leave a little bit of a gap because I find it, it gets really bulky if I do that. So I just kind of like tie off right here. my edges or my so I clip my corners like this on all four um, we're going to make we are going to um, go get ready almost get ready to go okay we're not having to make panties I don't know <laughs> your panties are all crooked here I'm gonna no. fix them right now in a second okay please do it Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So now that I do that, um, I'm going to flip this and then I'm going to get going after I do this. So I flip these in. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to get ready to go, baby. So I, once I have them flipped and sewn, I kind of, I don't push on them too much because they'll stretch out. So I kind of just push some of them out. So I fix my corners. Just like that. So, what I meant by, so this is the inside, so this is the outside of your romper, right? So on the outside, you can't see like the seam, the seam kind of sits up in the front. But this side, it turns in on itself a little bit. So when they're wearing it, it looks more seamless on this side. No, this is not for you, baby. Can you make that for me? I can make you a romper. Do you want a big romper like this one? Yeah. So. And then when I press my legs, I press them in towards the body. So I push all the. I get my find my seam on one side, find my seam on the other side, you can see that. and then I push these in towards the body like up the leg so then it sits it sits like more seamless i guess okay so that is done that is done this one is done okay i want to make that it's a big one i want to move it like that so that is how I make my rompers. Okay, Sandra. Um, I don't know if you have to Amber, you have thank to you for having me I do on your live. I feel like I took over. No. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm going to stay live, you guys, so don't leave i'm just gonna probably end it with her because she has to go and then if she wants to come back later she can come back on later but i'll be on for a while because i have a lot more work to do yeah okay thanks guys bye love you Okay. I'm going to take my earbuds out now because I don't need them anymore. Okay. Yes, Joanne, that's a teething ring. You want me to show it to you again? Here, I can show it to you again. So how do I zoom out? Let's see. Here we go. You are just really close. <laughs> so this is the lovey that I just made. Let me get this off of here. How do I take that off? There. So here's the lovey. The backing is just black. And then the teething ring. I just use, I think it's uh, birch wood and then the back of it. Don't quote me on that. I just keep buying the same one from the same company. Let me see. I can let me move this out of the way. You guys aren't staring at all that junk. Set it down. 
very carefully. There we go. Now you don't have to stare at that. I'll let you know right here where I get them if you're interested. It's on Etsy. They're beechwood, not birchwood. They're beechwood. And I have, I get them in like bulk. So I have like a huge bag of them. But they just come in these like huge bags. And then I, so once I dip into this, I need to order more because I'll have all of these left to use before my next order comes. But I order like tons of them at a time and I pre-oil them or like pre-treat them before I send them out with organic oil. So I use... This 100% wood polish oil for it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's literally beeswax, olive oil, and that's it. So um, it's super, I've used it for years and I've only made like a small, I don't know if you can tell, that small dent from rubbing it. A little goes a long way. So I just take like a microfiber cloth and just rub it on the wood before sending it out. And that just makes it like a little bit shinier, but then also keeps it nice and smooth. So there's no splinters and the longevity of it will last longer too with the baby chewing on it and stuff. So it's pretty nice stuff. I'm actually going to order more right now while I'm sitting here so I don't forget. But you have to ask her for like a specific order because otherwise you you can only get like five rings at a time. So I, because I wholesale it, basically that's what it's, that's what it is when you buy like a whole bunch of one thing.
Okay. I like to package this or just at least put it into a bag right away so it doesn't get dirty, the blankets. So whenever I finish the lovies, I usually just come over here and put the tag on real quick. And I just put it in the bag. I don't do the whole packing until the end. But for now, while it's just sitting here, I don't want it to get dust on it after I've already cleaned it. Can you guys hear me okay since she left? Okay, so now I'm going to turn the camera back around because I need to start sewing um, these over here. So I'm going to turn you guys back around. So sorry. I think it might be easier if I just do this. And I am just going to go to the heat press really quick and do the romper pieces and then I'll zoom in on the sewing or the serger. So give me one second and then we'll zoom in. one romper that I cut out to, for right now. I have a lot more to, to cut, but I'm just going to start sewing these. That way I can at least get these out. I also have some bell bottoms and skirts to cut too, so we'll do that later depending on how much I get done. But I do want to take time tonight to edit that video that I made for you guys today. I haven't gotten a video out in a long time, so I'm kind of excited about it. So if you see my video and I'm wearing the same outfit, it's because I recorded it this morning before I went live. And like I always say, if you have any questions, highlight my name so I know that you have a question for me. How'd you guys like that with Sandra here as a guest and working with me? Do you want me to do that again? I, we kind of wanted to start doing that on like a normal basis. And but also not just working, but doing some projects and stuff like that together. Once I figure out the whole audio thing, it'll be a much easier. But for right now, I'm going to sew the romper that she just got done explaining you guys how to do. So. 
So let me flip these so that you don't see names. And then I'll go ahead and zoom in for you guys over here. How is that? I gotta change that thread. <laughs> All right. I'll probably sew the cuffs and then change the thread. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try as much as I can, but let me grab a couple cones before. And grab this one and this one. Waterfall. when I forget and then I'm in the middle of something and not great. Okay, one more question. Do you guys want me to put my other camera on at a different angle as well? Or like I could put it facing me because this one's kind of behind me or we can just leave it on one screen like this. Okay, that's actually what I thought, but I wanted to ask. Sometimes for me when I'm watching live and there's like two streams going on and stuff, I get kind of like, I don't know, gives me a headache. It's like back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna wait on this first. I'm actually going to show you guys how I clean my machine because it needs to be cleaned. I leave my machine off normally unless I forget it. Also, I got this vacuum on Amazon. I think it's linked, I'm not sure, but if you're interested in it, and you need an upgrade on a vacuum for your machine or even just for like cleaning up like I use this for my fur. This vacuum, I know I talked so much good stuff about my last vacuum, but this one's even 20 times like, I don't know, 20,000 times better. Like it's literally like a mini Dyson. Myself in the face. I try 
try to get in every craft when I clean it. I take really good care of this machine because I love it so much. Not that I don't love my other machines, but this is my baby, if you know what I mean. Oh, I have the old one linked? Okay. Well, if any of you guys are interested, let me know and I'll link it for you. I just did oil on this yesterday, but I did not oil this piece, so I'm going to oil this one. And this machine is opposite, so you go away from yourself, not towards yourself. They all look good, except my thread, but I'm going to see how far I can go on it. I'm watching it. So it went through, but what I'm going to do is I don't want it to break while I'm sewing my fabric. So I know it went through. I can, I heard it go through, so I'm just going to pull it. And I see it. It's literally right here. You guys can't see it. But I can tell right here. Can you guys see that? Plus? This is where my knot is. So, I don't know if you can see that, but that's all I do. Alexa, set an alarm for 2.15. What time is it? It's 1.26 p.m. Okay. Happy 
keep this big. Happy Thursday. Okay, I'll link it. I don't know if that one worked or not. So you can try both of them. I have it right here. Let me know if that worked. I gotta check and see how my kids are. I'm so good. I forgot how big my throat is. Killing me, and I'm freezing and overheated at the same time. My daughter had a fever yesterday. We just got over COVID, so I don't think she has COVID. Um, but I just asked her how she was feeling a little bit earlier while Sandra was explaining the romper. And she just texted me back and said that, she just said, do we have COVID tests at home? I don't feel good. I have a headache. My throat's killing me. I'm freezing and overheating at the same time. So that's not great. So I just asked her if I need to come get her. So hopefully, I don't know. There's some messages on Etsy. Let me see what they are. Okay. So last night on my live, I messaged a customer about a um, name that they wanted on their blanket. And so she just responded saying, yes, that was correct. But I always like to confirm because it looked like a typo to me, but I just wanted to make sure it was good for her. So we're all good to go for that.
think the live would have went a lot smoother if I was able to get my audio to work on it. It would have been funner, I think, because we would have been able to talk to you guys and to each other. But it is what it is. And I like to cut any off at this point. I like to just serve it on the very edge. I do cut off a little bit when I'm putting the body pieces together because they do run a little big, so it doesn't matter if I cut off a little bit or not. But it does make such a difference when they line up perfectly straight. That's why when I cut this out, I measured it to make sure it was exactly the same because my brother had accidentally cut off a little bit of it while he was cutting. Um, he's no longer my cutter, he's moved. So now I'm going through each of the pattern pieces, making sure that they match up correctly. you guys what helped me in the very beginning when I first started sewing these was just going like this and literally taking two clips and just clipping the shoulder straps together and it just keeps it nice aligned nice and aligned for you so you can just sew as much as you can without having to like stop and go so especially when I sew bigger rompers, like the size, the big sizes, I will sometimes just do that technique because they're so big. But most of the time I don't use any pins anymore. I've just gone to the point where I can do it with my eyes closed pretty much. Make sure the corners are matching, the liners are matching. One of, oh, I ran out of thread. I, I started talking and didn't pay attention. Come oh, on, Amber. See, I knew I would not follow it. Hey Alicia, I just lost some thread. Now you guys are gonna see me do this. Boo. I actually didn't even lose it. It just got tangled up there. So that's good, I think. Not. Oh well.
This one isn't an automatic threader, but I remember when I first started threading this, there is a piece in here that I'm not going to forget. Uh, so you go down, you go through this. This is only the second time I've done this because I haven't had to rethread it. So you just follow the instructions on here. So you go through there, you go to the bottom piece up through the top, okay. That's where I need my tweezers. So I'm down at the bottom. This one, the holes are so tiny. I'll do this one. See, if you pay attention, this doesn't happen. Okay, so this is the one where I have to go through the underneath part. So this is confusing. So you have to go underneath here. I can't really show you guys through this. But it has to be down position. The needle over here. Where is it? I had to watch a video on this because I didn't know how to do it. Where am I putting it? Oh, I see. Okay, I got it. And then you have to go behind it. How did I do this before? Yeah, I struggle too, guys. This is a brand new thing. I've only threaded this twice. So I remember I had to watch a video on this. But you go behind it. So it's right there. You go behind the thing. opposite side. Okay, so I remember once I got it, it was super easy. And then I was like, okay, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> but how does it get through there? I'm going to pull that video up. They are actually super easy to thread, I remember.
Are the work lights over your equipment hardwired or they just hung and plugged into the wall? They seem like they're biting. Um, no, my uncle is an electrician and he hardwired them. So they're actually plugged in through, we took out the ones that came with the garage and we put new lights in and he hardwired that one to that one. So they're not plugged into the wall at all. They are, these ones right here, like above my heat press that are laying on top of this, like underneath my logo sign. Those ones are just plugged in. But the other ones hanging from the ceiling, those ones are hardwired. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna watch a video really quick because I don't wanna take forever on this. And I remember the last time I watched a video, it worked right away. So, to thread the juki. This is what I washed right here. Literally, I saved it on that same section, so here we go. pull it through. Okay, well, but that one is threaded. So this one, okay. I already did that one. So see guys, I watch these videos too for help. through this one. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. I see. I knew it was through the back of it. I just didn't know how. Okay. Because this is tangled up on here. That's why. So you have to go underneath of it, and then somehow it, this is where you have to have good eyesight, and I don't. That is not hard, but you have to know like where to put it in order to figure it out. So now that that's figured out, we can get sewing again. Okay, so that wasn't hard. It just took me a minute and I had to watch a movie or a video, but it's all done. So. Let's continue. Okay, let's go back. Sorry, I had to message my daughter again. Okay, that romper I had trouble with had snaps along the crotch. When adjusting the front and back at the crotch, the legs ended up coming out even, and the front was shorter than the back. Huh. I never did the romper with crotches in the inseam, so I'm not really sure why they aren't the same length. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe you got the front and back mixed up. Can you send me or email me what link you used and I can maybe look at the pattern and try to help you? Yeah, that makes it custom. <laughs> and Dallas, silver and threader, Madeira for my braid thread. So I use, this thread right here is from Sewing Machines Plus. It is the Alpha Sew thread. I'm really, really liking it. It doesn't like shed as much. Um, and it's just 
it's been really good since I've been using it. Before I switched over to this, I was using the Toldy Lock by Guterman. You can get it at Joann's. That's also very good. Um, it does shed a little bit more than the Alpha so, but they're both comparable. I like them both. Um, serger, so that's my serging and sewing machine thread. My embroidery thread, I get at all stitch. Okay, back to work. Where were we? So because this one got messed up on the end right there, I'm going to just go back over this corner right here. I'm not cutting anything off. I'm just going back over it so that it is sealed. There we go. So don't think you have to take your stuff apart. If that happens, just go back over it and it's on the inside of the clothing anyway, so they're never gonna see it. Um, just don't cut anything else off because then it will be the wrong size. So I'm very stubborn. Uh, in the beginning, I could have just looked up how to, how to thread the serger. But instead, I try to do it myself without looking. That's just how I've always been and pretty much the way I've learned how to do my business. But I'm on a live. I don't want to take forever trying to figure it out. If I wasn't on a live, I would have sat here and tried to figure it out myself until I got super frustrated and then I would have went to that video again. Especially because I've already looked it up. I should know like how to do it. But... I've only done it one other time besides today, so give myself a little bit of slack. But I do love this machine. I wish it was an auto threader like the other one, like my Celebrate, the Baby Lock Celebrate. That is an automatic threader, which is really nice. But this machine, as long as your thread is good, lets you sew things so fast. It might be better to switch to the pattern without snaps. Yeah, I haven't had anyone ever like get upset about it not having snaps. I've just always done this one. And it's pretty similar to the one that Sandra makes. What was it, Made by Me Patterns? Pretty similar to that. And nobody really cares about the snaps or no snaps. I've never had anyone say anything. So it's a try. Maybe just try it without the snaps. See if that works better for you. Snaps are nice, but if it's not working, then Time to move on. I am curious to know why it's shorter in the front or in the back and longer in the front. That's that's odd. The only thing I can think is that maybe you cut two or you put it on opposite. Because the back is usually higher than the front. Hi, Val. 
Michelle, how are you? Be glad you just got on because the technical difficulties today and I had to rethread my serger that I don't really know how to do because it's only been done twice. Well, now twice. So I had to look up a video to, to watch it, but it, was, it didn't take too long. So this is where this machine comes into play. I mean, all of it comes into play, but especially the cuffs. If you guys remember on my, my last machine, cuffs were hard because I would have to slow down, needles would break, all kinds of stuff. Not on this machine, it just eats it like butter. Rompers with snaps are not good for child care when you change diapers. I have in my contract no rompers without I have in my contract no rompers without snaps. With or without? Yeah, that's true. You guys, I want to tell you that I love being live, but I work so much slower when I'm live. I would already probably have all these orders done if I wasn't live, but it's okay because they don't have to go out today. So I'm just kind of working as I go. Plus, I don't like to like rush. I like to take my time, but I am way more productive when I'm not on live. I don't know why. It just happens that way. Before I get over here, I forgot to do that step, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that step. Down the middle first, 
And then down each side, I just feel like it's good secure. It's good and secure that way, or nice and secure. <laughs> So they're a little bit bigger, but it's still super cute.
I don't remember who it was, but somebody asked me about skin flower fabric. I know we talked about it yesterday, but they had said that they noticed that any of the lighter fabric backgrounds is a lot softer than the ones that are full color or darker backgrounds. And I've said that like numerous times because I've noticed that as well. Spoon Flower is a print-on-demand service, and I don't know if it has something to do with the colors or the, the, the ink hues that they use. I'm not even sure um, why it is. But yes, if you have a gray or beige or white background, they're super duper duper soft. If you have anything darker, like my tiger leggings or my tiger print, I should say, that is a darker like navy-ish blue color, those ones aren't as soft as the other ones. It doesn't mean they're not soft. And especially after you wash them, they do get softer and softer. But the lighter ones definitely do feel softer. And I don't know if you guys all were on here the last time I told you that my dad raised this table when he was over here last time. So it's a lot more comfortable to sew on now. So if you do get one of these and you're like, oh, it's like sitting on your legs or something, or it's not the right height, you can adjust it. And it's amazing now because it's like perfect height for me. It's not uncomfortable. All Juki, if you're listening, <laughs> please come out with a machine that has automatic thread cutter. Serger. That would be amazing. Hi, Brandy, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Just keeping it busy. Yeah, lots of carrots going out. I need to work on my other prints tonight. I want to do that tonight so I can get that done.
miss you starting to use the Juki Serger. How are you liking it? I want it so bad. I'm out of space. Um, I love, love this machine. So anyone who is interested in it or has been thinking about getting a new serger and you don't know which one to get, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Uh, especially if you plan on growing your business or whatever you're using it for and you might end up getting an industrial later on. This is coming from me not thinking I needed one a long time ago. I wish I would have got this one to begin with because it's so nice. It's super easy. Um, I don't know. I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. It's always consistent. It has like almost like an auto, like it's not tension, but the feed dogs are like auto. So like if you put one layer in, it knows. If you put four layers in, it knows. So it just auto feeds it through however thick your fabric is. So you never have to worry about changing the tension on it. At least I haven't run into that issue. And it's been awesome. The only thing, like I want to get the Juki cover stitch, but yes, like you have to always think about space because like they come with the tables. They don't come without the table. And so, at least not that I know of. And you can't just take it and set it on top of the table like that one. So you have to like have a space for it. Like I'm, I was on my vacation last week. I was or weekend. I was seriously wanting to push the buy button on the cover stitch because I've been using it more and more and more. And not that there's anything wrong with mine. I just want one like this. That's the cover stitch. So. Hold on. My daughter is messaging me. She is not feeling good. So. Um, hold on guys, I'm so sorry. She's not feeling well at school, so I'm trying to like, figure out what to do with her. This is what happens. Um, so sorry, give me one second. I gotta wait for, I'm gonna continue sewing until I get a response on that. Do you guys feel like your family's healthy like one week or not even a week and then sick again? I mean, I have four kids and three of them go to different schools. So a, a high schooler, a grade school, uh, like middle schooler and a preschooler and a kindergartner. So they are all bringing home stuff. We cannot stay healthy to save our life. That's me working from home and things like this happen. You can leave if you had to be able to stress me. I know. Uh, the only thing is we're, we're currently in the transition of getting a new vehicle, I have a view, I have my SUV, and we have like a two-door sports car 
but my husband had his SUV, which we just gave to my daughter when she turned 16. So we are transitioning into trying to find a different SUV so that when days like today happen, um, he has my car and I can't pick the kids up from school in the Porsche. So no, they wouldn't fit in there. So I had to message him to see if he is able to pick them up or what, because Riley's not feeling good. So it's just... A lot of transitioning happening right now. So, but it is nice that I do work from home, and so does he. Just so happened to be that he went golfing today, so he's not home. I know I want to, Sandy, but I don't have a vehicle. I can't go pick them up in my other car. And school's out in five minutes, so there's no point in me going right now to get her because I can't pick them both up. So that's why I had to call my husband or text him. By the way, I got this tripod and I love it. It came with like a selfie stick too. You can use it for your phone or a camera. And it's super sturdy compared to all the other ones that I've gotten. <laughs> no worries. Okay. I know, I feel bad that I didn't just jump up and go get her, but I really can't, so. So I will stay live until I figure out what's going on. I just was just about to ask you about it. Did you find it on Amazon? This tripod? Yes. I love this tripod. It's super sturdy. It's like heavy, like the legs don't feel like they're gonna break like all the other ones that I've had feel like. And it's really easy to like maneuver. So next time I go live by myself, I'll probably do it on my phone. And then I can use that tripod. I actually like going live better on my phone because I can like get different angles easier. Okay, my husband is going to pick up the kids. So, I don't have to leave to go get them. He's on his way. You just tell her that so she's not worried.
Sorry if there's buzzing in the background again. My refrigerator temperature thing just went on. So you're going to hear that again like you, like you heard last night. For those of you that were on my live last night. But I listened back and it's not bad. It's just a little humming. you give out any freebies with your packages? I can't remember if you do or not. It looks sturdy. Mine has a little leg. I that one of mine and I can't get it sturdy in his back. Yeah, I had one of those ones too that was bendable like that and I didn't really care for it. So not have, I guess, another minute. Um, so I don't do freebies. I'll send them like I don't I don't I don't do freebies no. I have coupon code when they re are return customers. Um, I don't do candy or anything like that. I thought about doing stickers and stuff, but I feel like my packaging kind of takes place of freebies because I put a lot into my packaging. So you kind of got to go with your gut on that if you want to do that. Is the camera blurry? I have a couple new products coming out on my website. I'm super excited about that. I haven't shared them with you guys on here yet, but once I release them and stuff, I'll do them on lives. But I'm still working on getting them released while trying to trying to now do my Easter prints tonight and I work on them. But if there's anything in specific that you guys want to see me do, please let me know because I just kind of do whatever.
Also, waistbands with this machine uh, make it so much easier to put on than your other machine. I don't know what it is about this machine that makes it so much easier, but it's literally so easy with elastic waistbands. shoppers and majority said that they would shop again if they have nice packaging and freebies but I like the packaging idea better the better packaging idea yeah I don't I, I thought about like I said I thought about doing stickers and maybe throwing in like a hair tie I did think about doing like sublimation hair ties like to match their outfit as like a freebie, just like a really small one, not even a scrunchie, just a really small hair tie, if it's a girl. But again, that takes away time that I need to spend on their order, if that makes sense. So, I mean, just use your own judgment call on that one, it's hard. Some people do it, some people don't. I'm not one of those people yet anyway. I don't think I ever will. Some people do candy, but that also gets into a whole new thing of, um, especially with children's stuff. The whole CPS CIA thing is crazy anyway, so I wouldn't get into all that. Just my opinion. I think as long as you have like good packaging and your presentation is amazing, then I think it should be, I think you're good. I need a, this thing keeps catching on my shirt. I'm loving these new rainbow, I don't know if you can see those, the rainbow ones, I love those. Smaller leggings, you have to kind of take your time to get them up under there. They're small. The only freebie I include is if it's a gift, I made gift cards with my logo and include that instead of they're not from the order. Yeah, so if it is, I actually have a gift option, gift wrapping option on my site. So if I get a gift wrap order, I definitely wrap it like a present. I do the whole bit. So that's kind of like the freebie, but they pay for it. It's $5 upcharge, which isn't that much, but it pays for like all the stuff that I use for it. Um, so that's on my website. Also, I, I do the gift wrapping option on Etsy as well. Um, it's done really good for me. A lot of people that buy from my shop, it is for gifts, baby showers, 
um, stuff like that, grandchild, what have you, but just take pride in your presentation. thread the ends? Is it just a sewing needle? Yeah, it's a long eyed needle or a large eye needle. I can show you up close. Hold on, let me flip this because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. So, where is it? There you go. Focus. It's not going to focus. There we go. So, it's just a large eye needle. But the thing is, is to make sure that the end of it, so it's called a tapestry needle and the end isn't sharp. So it's kind of rounded. So it doesn't get caught up in the threads. So I use that. I know that there's like a picker, whatever you call it. A sort of, I don't know what you call it, a thread picker. I don't like that. It's just personal preference. A lot of people do use that, but I like the larger needle a lot better. It's just easier for me. It goes right through. And then I just stick it in between the two pieces. I don't go from the front or the behind. I go through the top of it. So you can't see it. It kind of like lays in between the layers of the fabric. So you don't see it. I would like to see a video on how you make your reels. It's supposed to be good because it reaches audience that doesn't follow you. I tried it, but it was a little confusing. I enjoy the packaging and making it look pretty as much as I do the selling. I do too. Packaging is actually my favorite, Bev. I love packaging. So I say this always all the time. Even to my husband, we were talking about it on vacation. If I were to hire anyone, it would be probably just to cut my stuff because I love sewing and making. Um, maybe in the future, I might have to have someone help me sew stuff too, but I love packaging. Like I save all of my stuff for the end of package because I love doing it. Um, who asked about the reels? I'm still getting used to the reels. So I don't know if you've seen mine. They're not great. Uh, I'm still learning. So let me practice a little bit more before I do that. I, you know me, I don't like to give you guys a video on something if I don't know how to do it really well myself. So let me practice that. I'm getting better, but I definitely didn't grow up with social media, so it's really hard.
I have a trash can down here, by the way. <laughs> I have one for my serger that takes all the thread that it cuts. And then I have one down here that I'm using to put all this in. And then I have this magnet that I put down here. This isn't this isn't metal, so I have to I use strips of magnet tape to put on here on the inside so that I can put this on here. Okay, so there are my leggings. So now I'm gonna move the camera over to my reliable because I've gotta sew the waistbands down, tuck them down, put the um, labels on. And then we're done. So let's see here. How am I going to do this? Let me check that one and see what it looks like. Just going to that's super bright. Is that too bright? I don't know if I can move my camera. Let me see if I can move my camera in over there on that side. this guy so you don't have to look at that right now just move them over here it's my little plant I love plants like they just give me good vibes Let's see you're gonna be able to see that when I go there so maybe I can do like a close up of it and then a far away of it. How's that? I love my orchids where they bloom in October and spring and turns green again. Scissors, or did I just, or did you just put a magnet in between the two? So smart. Yeah, so. This right here, these are just my scissors. I don't know if you can see that. And then I got these super strong. They're really strong. Um, on Amazon, they come in a six pack. So they're just magnet. Can you see that? It's just a magnet. And then I just put it on my machine. And it holds it. Okay, 
So you get a very close up angle and then just kind of like a down right angle. Is that one too bright over on the up, up top angle? Let me know. I can always move it. Okay, where's my phone? Where did I put that? Oh, six. Okay, I probably have to go soon, but let's do this one first. So I do mine a little bit different than Sandra. Um, so, I mean, it's all about what you want to do and how you want to do your pattern. So everyone does it differently. I think they're home. My kids might fly in here because that's what they do. You guys know that about me. So sorry if they do that. My daughter's not feeling well. So I'm going to probably do these really quick and then probably get off because I need to take care of her and see what's happening with her. These increasing transaction fees from 5% to 6.5. Wow, that's a huge up. Hey, okay. hold on, guys. Got it? I think. Did you get temperature? It was 99 last night. Go take it right now. I don't know how to do it. Oh, wait, 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 wait the temperature. I need to yeah, get just. Um, I'm gonna finish these up and get off, and then I'll give you a test. Okay. okay. Go, just go lay down right now. Or are you gonna? You're not gonna fly at all. So. No, I was fine with going to school because I said I don't go to school that day. Yeah. So I try to go to school. Um. Yeah. Okay. Just go get relaxed and then text your coach and let her know that you have a temperature and you're going to take a COVID test. So if you don't have COVID, hopefully you get better by the weekend yeah. for the tournament. Yeah, I'm going to go to school. Yeah. Tell her you're staying home from school. You're going to rest. We're going to take a test and then I'll find the results out right like and tell her you'll know the results in like an hour. Okay. okay. Love you. Here we go again. Do you want back on, Sandra? If you want back on, I can put you back on. I'm going to get off after I do these, but you can take over if you want, and then I can be back on later. It depends on what you want to do. I just have to get off, and after I'm done with these, because Riley's not feeling well, I have to give her a COVID test. Hopefully she doesn't have it again, because we just had it, so... Oh, the battle of the sick sickness.
How a swim. It's actually not that cold in here today. I'm nice. It's nice. But I do have a shirt on under here. It's this is the 32 degree like long sleeve. I have a black and gray and white one and I always wear it if I'm cold. And they're super lightweight. You can't even feel them. She's done tomorrow. Well, I know, Sandy, you guys, please pray that she doesn't have it. We literally, our whole family just got over it. And it, we didn't all get it at the same time either. So that sucked. Like two of us got it. And then a week later, the other two got it. It was like, I wish we would have all got it at the same time, but we didn't. I didn't put the tag on here. So which one is the front and which one is the back? This is the back. So I did, I didn't do this. I didn't put the tag on here. So the reason why I put the tags on before I do this part is so I don't have to do this. So now I have to put the tag on, which isn't a big deal, but it's just annoying that I have to do it. So what was the size? Six to nine months. Is it good? It's not, I don't know if it's distracting or not, but when it's close up, close up like this first one, you can't see anything else. So I was like, mm, I'll try it. Yeah, my taste and smell was bad. I still don't have it fully, fully. Has anyone used the clapper tool to set in seams? I believe it was a design for quilters, but works great for hems. Iron your seam and put the clapper over it and sets it in. Um, I've tried it actually, and I made my own clapper, but that was in the very beginning of my sewing career, I guess you would say journey. And I don't know, it didn't really do that much of a difference for me. So I just never used it really. Okay, cool.
Add that on a little close. So when that happens, I just take my seam ripper and I just kind of guide it along so it doesn't get stuck. And right here, I like to pre-pull out the thread where the little loop is right there. So it doesn't get caught underneath. And I just think it looks nicer. So when it works and it's cooperative, I do that. Yikes. Okay. Um, okay. Go take some ibuprofen, just like two for right now. And then um, I'll come in, I'm almost done. Love you. Love you. 101, you guys. I know that's not super high, but we don't really get temperatures, so yikes. Okay, so that's done. I just gotta finish these really quick so they can go out, so. What is this? <laughs> Three to four T. It's under here. So my bigger sizes I keep in this these containers, I don't know if you can see that. So I have four, five, five, six, three, four, four, five, and five, six. So I usually only use two clips, but when they're big leggings like this and there's a lot of extra waste, I like to use four clips and I just kind of go in like this with it. And then I just clip this part, kind of like you're quartering it, like when you do the elastic waistband. So I've been doing a lot, lots of bigger leggings lately. And so, it's been a lot of extra fabric up here. So, um, and then I start over here on the side. Oh, wrong way. I'm not thinking straight. Turn them inside out. My son's about to come in here, I think.
Hey. You been live? I'm live, yeah. Nice. How's it going? I'm live right now. Yeah, how's it going? Good. Good. Um, Hello, audience. So, <laughs> this morning we had a huge audio discrepancy. Yeah. So I had to start different lives. Ooh. It was very unfortunate, but... That sounds like a bummer. Yeah. So, you. got to figure that part out. But other than that, it was fine. Nice. Love you. Say hi to everybody. How many people do you have on? <laughs> like 30. I don't know. It doesn't really update on here. Hi. Sure. Okay. Get out of there, buddy. <laughs> He's like looking right. at his phone. I'm, um, I'm going to take Andrew's appointment. Okay. Andrew or Kim, be careful. I have all kinds of cords. Come over here. Right. I Love see you. you on there. Am I taking um, Riley back? Dad, right? I saw you kissing mom. Uh, awesome. I'm on the computer. That's so crazy. I'm going to um, finish up here, and then I'm going to give Riley a test and see what's going on. Oh, she on. hasn't. She hasn't made one. Not yet. Okay. So then I won't give her a mark. Mark will be Mark will grab later. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a change real quick and get Andrew and Elton right out here. Okay. Love you. Are you taking Cam with you or no? Yeah. Okay. Not the doctor. I don't want to take the doctor. Is that okay? That's fine. I just don't have my. By Riley, if she has it. She's, she's had a lucky day. I know. I bet, I, bet, I bet you anything she has. Yes, Kim. Okay. I bet you anything she has. Okay. Love you. Love you. The chaos of my lives after three o'clock in the afternoon, you guys. This is why I either have to go on in the morning or at night. But all of you guys know me by now, so you guys all know the know the drill. So these ones are small, so I won't do the four, I'll just do two. I just make sure I line my seams up. Mom life, exactly. <laughs> My almost four year old grandson wants to so so bad. He is fascinated with my machines. He says, let's do this. Yes, when I'm not live, my kids are always out here. Ask Sandra. They're always out here. They always want to touch everything. They want to be up in the mix. So cute. They're so tiny. I think this is the one where, yeah. Do you guys ever look at your seams? Like, look at the, I made this cuff. I don't know if you can see that on that camera. But I made this cuff, and that's where the seam is. And look at how perfect the body of the bison matched up with that piece. I love when that happens. Like, it didn't happen over here. But... I love when it matches perfect. It's kind of like a game. Okay. 
One more, and then we're going to call it good. Whoops, size 18 to 24. <laughs> they are, they are. They are something else. So here's one thing that I've learned, you guys, if you are stamping your batch numbers and your information on your clothing, let the paint or not the paint, let the stamp dry for like an hour. So what I do like after like right now, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to heat press these and finish them right now, I like to go stamp them and then let them sit. And then when I come back out here, I'll heat press them. And then you want to make sure after you let them sit for like an hour that you um, heat set it. So whether that's with your mini, your mini Cricut, your heat press, your iron, whatever you use to heat set stuff, do it. Um, but let it sit, let the ink dry for a while. The longer you let it dry, the more it's going to adhere and not wash out. And the reason why I do that or learned that was because I use a very, I use the color coffee for my stamp because a lot of my clothing is neutral and I don't want to see the black ink um, on the other side when they wear it. So I use a lighter color ink for my stamp and I don't want it to wash away. So I've been letting them set and then heat setting and then they're good after that. I practice on a lot of Andrew's shirts to kind of get the right feel for it. And that's what works best for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go stamp these really quick and then I think that'll be the end of this live for today. But look how cute those are. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hey, Deborah. Have you tried DTF prints or white toner prints instead of stamps? I haven't um, just because I have so many different prints. I didn't wanna have to order all those different things. So no, I have not. So I'm going to now give you guys over here with me. So I got my orders done. They're just I just need to press them. Let's turn this around really quick.
So let's you zoom in that way a little bit. I'm just gonna turn this camera off over here. And we'll do that. I know it's like really close up to me right here. Sorry. I don't know why I turned this on. I don't need this right now. I'm just stamping right now. And I used the archival ink I showed you guys last night. Yes, it's an extra step, but you kind of have to do it when you're in the business. So I forgot I have another carrot sign. You get kind of fast at it once you do it. So much. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a live right now. I'm gonna go take care of my daughter. She's not feeling great. And I'm going to edit my video that I recorded earlier this morning, finally. And I'm gonna upload that tonight. I'm probably gonna be out here working tonight too, so it's debatable if I go live again or not. I'll let you know. Kind of feeling the lives lately because I haven't been on with you guys much at all, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's live. I know it was kind of chaotic and crazy, but you guys are the best and you've stuck with me. So I really appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. I know you can't see me because it's zoomed in, 
But anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for everyone wishing her well wishes. Bye, guys. Love you all.